Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. We've got a lot of sit reps, as you can see. Uh, undercover civilians are here. The hunt is happening. Opportune moment is active. Uh, well rehearsed is on, and volunteer army is also on. We negated the extra reinforcement drop. Uh, this guy has joined us, Madi Asgar, with the T3 compound bow. A claymore and a smoke grenade, face off, lightning hands. He's got it all. What kind of pistol is he using? Three to six. Okay. Okay. I like that. Uh, we've got toaster here as well with supernova and uh, this curse canister, which is going to be interesting. Now, it does bypass sustain effects. That's cool. I love that. That's actually exceptional. <laughs> so we'll try to keep that in mind. Nosferatu's here with the Phase Walk and Soul Merge. We have Serenity here with Panacea. And we have Disable, Marionette Control, Domination, and Mind Control. A five slot alien Siamp is live. Angerbot here with uh, Marauder and the double shooty shoots and the shredding. Uh, Iggy is here for pulling people out of position, has a uh, Plasma Blaster as well. And then lastly, we have Stargrave. We've gone three acid bombs and a blaster bomb. And that's uh, pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Okay, so I didn't do a trivia or log in the last episode. Uh, today we're gonna do what is gonna be the season's last stats update. This is uh, about stats through episode 79. In the depths of the Assassin's Stronghold, a sectoid commander watched helplessly as a metal giant charged toward him, shield at the ready. Little did he know that his dying sight was also the end of a momentous era in XCOM history. For 11 seasons, 6 years, and 23 days, Johanna Fire Loxley reigned as the all-time kills champion, but no more. With the death of that sectoid commander, Boulanger Toaster 42 claimed his 180th kill and sole possession of the channel's greatest record, which now stands at 198 and counting. Toaster has now also broken the all-time damage record with his current total of 3,252, surpassing Lockley Locksley's 3,198. Elsa Dynamite Koenig finally returned to action after 26 straight episodes on the bench, putting up a perfect shooting performance to defend her top spot in accuracy. Nilro Psychedelic Gilleth took full advantage of his lost hunting skills and ammo, to set a new single mission damage record for the same reason, or for the season, uh, running up 372 damage on episode uh, 74. A few less desirable records have also come into play recently, most notably the five recent casualties, bringing the season's total to 20, only one short of the record set last season. Likewise, shooting performances have been abysmal lately, as XCOM put up the two worst squad EAS marks and three of the four worst individual EAS marks of the season, all within the last 10 missions. Those lists are led by Boltos Idrisil de Greer's minus 4.44 on episode 71, and a squad EAS of minus 7.85 on episode 74, nearly three points worse than the previous low. You know, it's crazy. I actually feel like there were way more deaths this season than last. Like, it, that's just how it feels. Um, clearly, that is not correct. That's why I like the stats, because they... They show what's really going down. Okay, so who knows? Who knows where anything is out here? Who knows? Let's take a little peek on this side. That's looking snazzy. Uh, Boltos, check it. Clean. Stargrave, check forward. Uh, Medea? Or Mede? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, toaster, I'm gonna keep kind of centralized. Nosferatu will check here. Oh, Nosferatu's gonna see something. Patrolling this area. Okay, a couple Decurions there. I need to, I need to check out Got it. Moving. what they're capable of again. I'm gonna quickly Moving. peek here with Angerbot just to scope that side, but it looks cool. Looks like it's all fine and good for now. Cool. Iggy there. Uh, Stargrave, I'm going to move up now. Medea. And Toaster. Okay. So, I'm thinking after this mission, we likely head to the network tower? Right? I would think so. 
And since there's a couple of uh, things we want to change for Leviathan, at the end of this mission, I'm going to make like a, a hard save. So any changes that we make, um, we can load into this, the end of this mission and get to the network tower with those changes on. Uh, I don't know if any of them are going to be like important to network tower, but man, what is... Okay, so I guess we're heading off in this direction. Okay. Fair enough. I trust in your command. I'm all over it. I'm gonna just Solid check time. here. You never know. You never know. As you order. Now, there could be people down in here as well. Let's take this little corner with Stargrave. Nothing. Running. Okay. The weird little uh, hiccups we were experiencing in the last episode are not here. Thank God. Guys, where are you going? You know where they're going. We're gonna go meet up with 400 friends. Um, yeah, I mean, I suppose we could end up fighting through there too. There's an alien patrol here. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Uh, so the Devastator has got the rippling rifle. The black flame grenade, we've seen how potent those can be. That is something to be aware of. I think if we can set up Serenity down here, that's looking pretty nice. I'll use Angerbot to scope this side. Seems good. Look at the range here. Very impressive stuff. Uh, Stargrave really depends on where these guys go, how they split here, but I'm going to put them on that side. Just want to make sure we're running out in this direction, Affirmative. not to Moving break out. the concealment. And then Iggy. Okay, what the? There we go. Okay. Don't love that area. I don't think. Okay. We could just acid bomb this. I don't see that being too bad. Um, what's our mind control looking like? 100%. 100%. Ooh. Now I could I could dominate the devastator. Could do that. Could do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's pretty insane. Uh, why don't we do this? So I'm going to hit these civilians. Why? Always got to be civilians. See, if I dominate the Devastator, we definitely trigger this group as well. And the Devastator probably just gets slapped, you know? So what, I'm, what I would hope is that they could... Um, is that we could get them to kind of run into us. Worst case scenario is the Devastator actually runs further back and we lose sight.
that's another unfortunate thing that could go down. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see the shield bearer from here. That's really annoying. Because I would just pull him right out of position if I could. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. This is not the sexiest opener, okay? I'm aware. I'm going to see if I can just squeak this in without hitting that civilian. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Look at that. I can, but then I have to hit the uh, Devastator, which I don't want to do. Okay, we're going to open on this Archon. It's not going to be sexy. Oh, it landed, though. I'll take that. We're in their sight. Now run at me. Intense shaking. Everyone's mad. Yes, you will be mine. And then I will trigger the rest of the map. Oh no! Don't hit! Oh. Can't, you know? Sometimes, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's how she goes. Weapon's hot. So now the question is, do I even want... Do I want that unit? I'll tell you what. We will... Uh, where's my will at? 68? What's my mind control? 186. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to siphon Will from this guy. Just to get that on cooldown, keep our reserves high. We'll do a regular mind control on him. Uh, maybe not, actually. Maybe not. This Devastator, who's got the best shots? That's the thing. Hmm. I suppose we could we could maybe Supernova here as well. That's an option. Let me in. If these guys all activate, we might be able to pull off a decent Supernova. Oh boy. Oh boy. The double Vennies. They both Overwatch. That's actually very interesting. That is very interesting. They have so much health, my god. Okay, now are these guys immune to anything? Uh, also, let me check their counterattacks. I saw one has it for sure. Okay, so he doesn't have counterattack, but the Decurians do. Yo, this is going to be interesting. So, if I overdrive here, I could go Disruption Field to break Overwatches. Come in here. Uh, maybe curse, do some punches, that kind of stuff. Let's go, big boy. I gotta remember, too, the cooldown on this is pretty low. Like, I should be spamming this way more often than I do.
Okay. We got five to eight here. Let's actually start with this. Actually, hold on. These Venators are going to cause me a lot of problems, let me tell you. A lot of problems. Okay, so I can actually only hit... Two of these guys, which means I don't love that play. Oh, lightning vengeance. Okay, yeah, excellent. That's great. Brutality against melee attackers with electro melee that sets the targets on fire and pierces through armor. Yeah, cool. Good for you. That is fantastic news. Okay, he's disoriented. All right, that does not stop vengeance. Let's tank another one. Oh. Nice job. Okay, that's huge. That gives him an untouchable. Curse is a little shorter, but it looks like it can hit these guys. Blood curse. Okay. I do love a good blaster bomb, but what I don't love is they're splitting. Like, that's... it's just... We have to basically be ready to fight the Venators one-on-one, -on -one, you know? That's the way I see it. We also have the Archon, who's a little problematic here. I think in this scenario, how much mobility do I have? Decent. I'm actually considering just granting an action here and suppressing this. Those Venators are going to be the, the problem that I have here. They're going to cause big issues. But I'm hoping if I do this, uh, we get both of those guys suppressed, the Archon suppressed, and then if these guys come in, I th they might have lightning reflexes. But we also have the kill zone. So I'm going to let her rip. I don't love that it suppresses this unit. There's Withering Barrage. So we had comboed this so that those shots were no longer going to be grazes with the PCS. I don't know if that actually worked there or not. I don't know if that counted as a graze. I don't need to size strike. I think what I might do is just back off a sec. So these guys aren't super grouped up. Because the AoE from those dudes is really strong. Uh, maybe I should get rid of their armor. As well. 
They're already concussed. Okay, and then anger bot. I think I'm just gonna overwatch here, actually. Got it covered. Iggy, I'm fine with an overwatch as well. Unless I really want to get this, but I think that's uh Oh, there's an elite trooper here, I just noticed. I didn't even see him. Huh. Okay, I'm coming in here. And we're going to rip Jack this trooper from this side. Should weaken him enough to get the um, retribution? Oh, well, okay. That'll do. That'll do! Okay, so blood curse, two damage a turn. Acid burn. Acid burn. Nosferatu and Medea. Oh no. Don't love this. That is actually insane. That is actually insane. That's the right play. But it's just so hard to... Because you can't really deal with it. You can't really defend against it. That removed our sick... Overwatch. Archon's backing out. Interesting. Okay. So. Now we have some options here. These guys are going to start splitting. I need to hit them hard. 10 to 13. That's as hard as I can hit, I think. Please tell me that landed. Oh, a big crit, actually. Hard target. Minimal damage. Okay. Now, this guy, yes, we could put shields up, but he is very likely just going to die here. This can give me 9 to 10, but he will explode. Another thing we got to consider. Uh, this guy is extra, and I hate to be like, you know. Oh, you don't matter, but we could set up a, a face off there. If we do. Oh, I can't empowered volt this, unfortunately. But I am going to try to kill this thing. I need to try and get some distance. No problem, boss. Ah, uh, wait, you have fortress. Yes, okay. So explosions, no care. Right? 9 to 10, though. That's the problem. 15% chance to crit as well. What if I branded him? Let the power flow you. Let's do the brand. See if we get lucky here. Top of my <laughs> we did crit, but not quite enough. 
Well, that's unfortunate. I don't have any black flames. I still don't know where the general is, obviously. What I could do is bring Stargrave in... Like here, or here, or here, I guess there. That other Venator is going to have to live, unfortunately. This is uncomfortable, to say the least. Take the stock down. Oh, we landed it. Nice. I always, I knew, I always believed in you. I knew you would have that in you. That gets him the energy from the brand. Now, <laughs> my 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 big issue here is Serenity could be in a lot of trouble because this Venator could do the exact same thing. Please kill. Whoa. Amazing. You know that was good. Amazing. Is it clear? I feel like this might be a little close for comfort here. But we're gonna aid protocol serenity. I don't really have a solid way of breaking this overwatch. Hmm. Okay. Looks like I might be able to hit that guy with the curse. I would remove it. Okay. Now the question is... We don't want to counterattack here, but... So he loses will and psi strength. He's got acid burn. And that blood curse dealt damage over time last turn. Like he could just die here. I think giving him the untouchable could be kind of nice. We do six to nine. If I came down here for the flank on this guy, that's, that's a valid option. Do I just eat the counter attack? Oh, interesting. Okay. So, the, okay. So we can pick that up as well, just like any other effects. Look at that. That's great news. That's, that's fantastic. Okay, so now I might not need to do that. That could set me up for a pull on the Lancer. Let's use your incinerate here. That'll do. I'm going to leave him at that. Okay, he's bleeding. I mean, I should, I should blast this thing. I don't know if it's hitting any of our guys. A 
That's fine. It's just, it might make him survive an extra turn here. I think it hits Serenity. Yeah, okay. That's, that's all good for me. Let's reload here. Uh... bring Nosferatu up. I'm hoping we get the retaliation kill here. That Lancer actually might have lightning reflexes. Oh, here comes the stun, I think. Oh no, he's going for Stargrave. Ooh, the big whiffer. Okay. Retribution. Yeah. Oh, just a straight up miss. Into another blade storm. Actually, we got three units on this mission. We have three units on this mission with, like, a Bladestorm type ability. Pinions is annoying. Steel Bear may actually live. Oh, wow. That is great news. That is fantastic. When they get back to base, we'll have to give our soldiers Yo. time to heal. I was not... That wasn't even in my realm of possibilities. Wasn't thinking about that one bit. Now, these guys are immune to pretty much everything. Fire, for whatever reason. Uh, frost, definitely. Probably acid. Damn. Okay. That curse is not cool. That is not cool. Okay, so... Let's come down here. No problem, boss. Why is my aim so low here? 30 defense. Oh, it's in smoke? What? The hell? What are we talking about? Fine. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get rid of the armor. We're gonna make two. Oh, not splitting. Okay, why is it not splitting? It's disoriented. Wait, how is it... What? For some reason I thought we couldn't disorient these. Let's take our lightning hands here. That'll do. Unfortunately, it's not going to move. Um, Nosferatu can get in there. Angerbot has problems. Chance to return fire against missed shots. Hollow targeting. Three actions a turn. Banish. Molt. I feel like... I should attempt to disorient it. At least. But then I, I still have to move, and I have to kill this thing this turn. Like... Necessity. Do I use the Plasma Blaster on it? Good Kinetic Strike. Take the Acid, but then I'm, I'm stuck there against the soon-to-be Explosion. I 
I do have a Psy Strike for a little bit of extra damage. We could do that. I don't know if that disable counts as, like, mind-altering effects or not. Oh, okay. She's got half covers full. I hope it's worth it. Come on. We're landing these very, very, very crucial shots here. Can we heal ourselves? No. Okay. I mean, we could come in here, right? And have an angle. Not good, though. Not good. I mean, do I really want to take the acid and the explosion damage? Because I got a big fight coming up here still, right? 17. This would do 4 to 5. So let's say that takes him to 12 or 13. No, yeah, 12 or 13. He's, we're still short unless we crit. And it would be good to get that kill with him. So, if I'm not moving Serenity, I might as well just take that 46. Take the 36. See if those low percentages hit. And then, worst case, I send Toaster in. Oh! Are you kidding me? This is complete opposite of last mission. Alright. So, that's great news. I'm hoping we're far enough away here. We were. Okay. We now have a 56 up here, which isn't great, but... I must focus my strikes. Crazier things have happened. Looking for the looking for an Archon shot. I'll take it in the open. But doesn't look like I'm gonna get it. Let's have Toaster get this. And I'll set him up over here to get ready for what's coming around that corner. This thing has lightning reflexes, tongue pull, got a lot of problems. Right. Those shields on Serenity could be nice. Oh, maybe? That would have been sick. He 
did take acid burn. Oh, blade storm. Nice. Okay. Six turns. Now, rulers are not pausing timers anymore. That was causing some weird glitches. Just got half cover as full there. That's nice. Full cover doesn't matter. Excellent. Shield is still active though, thank god. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Just like a baby group or just only two showing. Still cursed. That's insane. We've got Skyfall, which would freeze. That's pretty cool. I need that Arc Wave. We can get extra damage going. So I actually, we can't release regular mind control. How many more units? Two alien turn starts? Okay. Let's bring you here. So I need 70 damage, man. Like, I just am like, whoa. If I could disable there, that would be swell, but I can't really get through my mess that I've made. I don't need to do a repair yet. I think a blind here first that hits both. And then... Maybe I just send Toaster in for, like, pummeling. does leave him pretty exposed. This could be... Maybe this is where we go for, uh... We just throw this down. Like this. Also hits the shield bearer. We still have six turns. And then by the time he's back up, his cooldown on overdrive should be, uh... Up. I'm doing it. Okay. Fine by me. Still shows him as an action. Okay, no, we're good. Okay, now. Now, the question is, do we go for the little hatchlings first, or do I just slam the snake prince? It's not that easy of a call. I think we'll do, um, for Serenity. We're gonna keep Serenity back here for now. Probably end up just doing a little suppression there. We actually have a decent shot there. 68. Alright. We expect it, I guess. Maybe I Blaster Bomb now? On these? Yeah, that's better. Let's do that. The Blaster Bomb does give me some additional flexibility with catching the General, too, but I think this is fine. Plus, I, I keep thinking that his Supernova is going to take out cover, but uh, it doesn't. Whereas this should. Didn't quite kill that. Eh? You can get the kill here. Back online. I 
I've got an Iggy as well that I need to find a spot for. I could just do something like that. I mean, I, ideally, I could hit both. Let's check something here. I know I've got that Pathfinder to watch for. Okay. So if I were to drop down, let's say, here... Like, that looks pretty solid. I go as that was the one tile away that we were looking for. Let's go. Oh, he's got Hunter of Vipers. I forgot about that. Okay. Okay, uh, so now, could give Angerbot extra actions to do what? Take another shot down there, maybe kill that thing. Looks frozen, maybe from this one. Come get some. Might as well break vision. Okay. 4 HP regen. Oh, you're gonna gate already? I didn't even think about that. Alright, well, that's probably fine. There's the bleeding, which if you're wondering is what we're here to remove. That's the dark event we're trying to counter here. Okay, that curse, like, does that never end? Because that's pretty rough. That's actually kind of nuts. His pulls are off cooldown now, which we're going to save. I think we can kill this guy because he doesn't get uh, reactions. Okay, so for whatever reason, this shows me the snake down there. You know what? Let's go. Running low on ammo. This could crit. 45 to crit. Hold on a sec. What do we have in here that's causing the crit chances? Just the flanking. If she explodes, Nosferatu might freeze, I guess. I don't know if Fortress handles that. Thanks. There's the blade storm. No Nasty. Okay, well, I'd say you've pretty much done your job. We only need two. I can handle that. So, here's my thinking. If if this kill doesn't go through here, Nosferatu gets the blade storm on the escape. I think it's worth the attempt of uh, Nosferatu being protected by Fortress. If they're frozen, then they're frozen. Well, how about that? Okay, sick. So now, this might trigger a group, I guess, but I'm going to put Nosferatu here. It's a traditional snake, not a, not a frozen snake. 
And I could zip over here. There's still eight enemies. So one, two, and then six more. I'm going to just dash Stargrave out here. And... Got it. Made can go here. There's still five turns. So, I guess I, I could probably... Still pull this guy. It's only 69%. And I don't kill him anyways. Might actually be more dangerous if he's over here with flanks and stuff. Okay. So, really low percentages. Let me launch a flashbang back here. If I get lucky... Maybe it hits some others. There's only so many places they could be now. Avert your eyes. Okay. Okay, there's our mind control down. Retribution. Missed again. That's two retributions he's missed. I was going to have a bare naked shot at Nosferatu. There's the bleeding again. Okay, no longer cursed. Okay. I would like to be able to pick up that kill. With Nosferatu for the heal. Nice, nice. Very good. If I need eight, I think we get nine to ten now. Let's go. Oh, uh, we found the other group. I don't know where you're going. There he is. Yeah, basically camping the objective. Not too bad. So basically, stay there. <laughs> Toaster. We pick up this for the untouchable. Uh, that's a blade storm kill there. I'll, I'll dangle Toaster here. Looks like he might have got that kill, too. Damn. And then I've got this, still. I could throw fire, but... Uh, hold on a sec. I could come in and start disorienting him. You know what, let's just do this. This is fine. We still have four turns. And he missed. Okay. That happens. Okay. Let's heal Nosferatu. This might sting a little. Now, it says it's a one-charge thing. So, he, he must heal to full, like, regardless. I think it's a single charge, even though it goes on cooldown. 
I think it's a single charge, but I'm starting to think about the last final mission, how I want to kind of piece things together. And healing is going to be one of those things that we're going to struggle with. Um, one tile short, it looks like. Yeah, I'm one tile short. Okay. It's fine. Seems doable. Let's put toaster in there. Oh, I was... I was kind of being picky with that because I thought the general was right around that corner, but... Nope. Clearly not. Reanimate. Oh, that also gives an action. That also gave an action. Right? Because now we can do all this. I'll do that. And it says it spawns with an action to use, right? Is that what it said? Or am I crazy? Sure does. Zombie slash. Yes, please. That's, you know what, that's fine. You've intimidated him. You punched through a wall. I'm gonna get Angerbot in closer. Okay. Oh boy, Are you serious, dude? Fine. <laughs> oh, classic purifiers. Okay, we're gonna end the general. Hopefully. Might get cursed again. I basically want us to end up here. So I'm going to end up there. Not quite enough damage. Oh. Well, thanks. We could try throwing Iggy into that middle section as well, but he doesn't have all the protections that the others do, you know? I'm gonna hit this. That blood curse is going to cause us more problems than it helps, I think. We didn't see a single priest. So, I am maybe giving up a blade storm here, but that's fine. That might trigger that overwatch.
blinding there. We zap here. I'm really paranoid that Serenity is going to get unluckily sniped. The chances with being disoriented there are pretty low, but let's just go here to be safe. That's a few. That's one miss. You know who doesn't miss? Nosferatu. But he's on the wrong side. Are you kidding me? Oh, really? Okay, there's a blade storm. Thank you. Even through full cover, 13%. The full cover and disorient. Okay. So... Why can't I Volt? Maybe because of Blood Curse? That would make sense, it like shuts down your psionic abilities, but I do have a brand still. The power is there for all of us. Okay. So if I kill the officer off, I get untouchable. And then I can hit, hopefully, this mech. Actually, the, I... Mm, I guess. Gets rid of an overwatch. Yeah, see, I can't even rent. Wow, that's punishing AF. Holy smokes. Anybody that can get to that mech? Anger bot. We can guarantee it shut down if we want to focus on other stuff. Or we can zap them. Let's, uh, let's guarantee the shutdown, and we'll focus on other stuff. I love how it just goes, like, oh yeah, you totally could have had control, easy. You know, there's no way we're hitting a 55. Okay, so there are some overwatches here to contest with. Could just set up a parry. The problem is if I go into this hunter, these guys could flank. Yeah, he's got health, but is it enough? I can hit maybe three here. Nope. I can hit two.
We'll hit these two. Disoriented once again. I don't think we can destroy that that pillar. So we'll do the mosquito bite tactics. Come on. <laughs> of course. Kind of deserve it now. Fine, we don't take any damage there. If I come here, we can probably kill the Pathfinder when he moves. The Elite Trooper can obviously hit us. I gotta get that reposition jam on uh, Serenity for sure. I think that would be better. Let's put her here. Maybe avoid the acid. Let's just parry this. Oh, look at the damage. Untouchable. That's the French translation, by the way. Okay, so now, as I was saying, I'm going to make a, a save here at the end of this mission so that if I need to, if we're going to change any of our mods for Leviathan, um, I'd much rather do it here than in the middle of... Uh, of uh, Network Tower, so give me one second. Okay, we're clear. We are in that clear. Uh, Blood Curse, yeah, that's really bad against... Uh, it's really bad for the Templar. Go figure. I'm assuming... Well, I, I could be... What the hell? <laughs> I'm assuming Bladestorm still procs, but maybe not because I can't rend. It's possible. How do we not see any of these units? Here. Seems doable. I'm with you. Hunter's on our side now. Zap Zap from Angerbot. Little Repairo for Toaster. Let's do it twice. Oh. Okay, I messed that up. I thought I was going to have another... 
action there. But here I am. See, here's the challenge is that it doesn't tell you, like, oh, you're going to take the blood curse damage here, you know? Okay, so now I got to try and kill that mech somehow. Which is going to be slightly problematic. Whatever you say. I'll take that. This is a little careless in here. Like, I know they're going to take damage, but at the same time, that's life. Pathfinder could uh, burn from acid. Yeah, okay. I must improve. I I would agree. I have no ammo. Let's do a damper field here. And do what I'll call a super dangle. Okay, so you have the retaliation punch, hopefully. And hopefully this doesn't backfire. That's good. That's fine. This dude lived. That's unfortunate. Mech Punch, I only need five if he does move. Okay. Man, the bleeding. Holy crap. It's triggering so often. Good job. Okay, looks like this should be the last turn. So let me do another save and we'll be ready to rock and roll. All right. I'm going to see if I can finish him off with uh, his own unit. Hell yeah. Uh, do I have to kill this guy? I guess so. Oh, there might be another faceless or something. Hmm. Let me get you out of here. What's remaining? Is there a chrysalid? Yep. If he survives, I will be shocked. Blade Storm should proc there. Holy smokes. Here we go. Is that uh, damper field protecting him from the bleed? Seems to be. Did you see that one? 
Baboom. MVP toaster. Shocking. Nosferatu 129. Serenity 6 for 6 on shots. So. I was. <laughs> I may have said this like every time a Venator shows up. But why do I keep thinking that they're. They can't be disoriented? It says they're immune to like mental effects, but. I'm not sure. 29 on Angerbot, 57 on Iggy, Stargrave 58. Very nice. Now, the only thing that stands between me and potentially Network Tower here is a retaliation, because that's been moved up. Move your head. 69? That's all I needed to see. That's all I needed to see. The soldier that joined us from the resistance is certainly a quick study, having already surpassed some of our other soldiers' capabilities. Lodged in his brother's eye socket. Seen the Viper King has been busy, like his twin, Broken Tusk, hatched from the same egg. The two hate each other with a passion, but hate the rest of their siblings even more. Brothers are constantly fighting, but will fiercely protect each other if one of the two should be threatened. Broken Tusk is called so because it's now Broken Tusk is lodged in his brother's eye socket. It is broke off as the two fought to be the first to break out of the single egg. That's awesome. And we got a, a free Black Flame. More importantly, Stiletto Rounds, which triggered like three or four times that mission is removed so that's great news okay seven days let's see i don't know uh, retaliation could definitely hit and we have this which is another concern i suppose since that worked we might as well keep it up commander okay Uh, you know what, actually? I'm not going to scan here anymore. It's not important. But what is, is okay, making sure all my guys are healed. Forward. That's the key. Before, when we were just had a lot of dead time. Against the elders, we find nothing but Domination the gem. I think that's our third or fourth one. There were some casualties. Venom rounds. We have a bunch of those too. Commander. But our troops will all recover after some well-earned rest. Uh, let me check something here. Psy infused grenades. Vortex grenade. Uh okay. It's ten days. I didn't know that was a thing until right now. Viper rounds. I mean, we have multiple Venom rounds, so I'm going to build these. Okay. That's what I originally went into the Proving Ground to look for. Superior speed and mine over matter PCS. Okay. How are my wounds looking here? Six days, six days, four days, 26, three. Minus 175. <laughs> okay. Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest covert action. But after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. 
It's just very sketchy, the timer being here, I know. It is unfortunate, Commander, that your recent efforts have proven to be so mediocre. Thanks, Dad. Just kidding, my dad's awesome. Okay. If there happens to be lost anywhere in these next two missions, great. Because I don't need the contacts. We'll do as we're told. Alright. Uh, I forgot about that, too. We get that little breather there before the end of the month. Totally forgot about that. There's a lot going on. So the question is, first let's hit this. It won't be easy. But I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go right ahead. Commander, Central, the Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the Psionic Gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the Gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the black site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, in a way. By manipulating the new avatar, via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe, if not fatal, trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. <laughs> Hello. That was different. It's me. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door. Which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. This specimen, this Baboom. is something else entirely, something beyond anything we have ever seen. And yet somehow, our troops once again prevail. Hello, Commander. Frostcaster sniper rifle. So this is the one that we truly earned. This is the one that we had to. Um console command kill priority message for the commander coming through on a secure channel sir on screen sir it's coming from the advent network tower you heard me he's taking a big risk contacting us like this hello commander you and your crew are to be commanded your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. When did he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an elder lightly and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar Project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy, a final treatment for the human condition. 
billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth before there is no one left to listen. Oh, it seems that's so cool. Out of time. Drops the gun from under his desk. Can't, when is XCOM 3 going to be here, man? When? Okay. We're making progress, Commander. So here's the thing. Objectives based on the latest findings. We want uh, definitely these two to be available. That's it. That was the only of this group that... So 35 and 37 hours, respectively. Right? I suppose I could also see what that frosty sniper rifle is. We have the target side oh, that's command. right. I don't have a lot this of intel. To strike at Advent's heart. Once we control Extra the soldier for 36. That's nice. Because no this group this. doesn't look too bad. Minus maybe the Black Eyes Codex. That's really good. Okay, so here's here here's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. Because I'm going to have to reload the in-mission save. If you guys are confused, it's because my Geoscape saves... Do not load. Haven't since about halfway through the campaign. That's why we've been starting at the beginning of the missions. So I'm going to have to load that save to apply our changes for uh, Leviathan. We're changing some of the dynamic aliens by force level. Um, we're changing the avatars. The most important thing that we're changing is we're buffing the hell out of avatars. Big time. Um, it's, I think we're actually now leaning towards keeping yellow alert enabled. And uh, that means it's going to be really hard. That first few sections are going to be very difficult. And I'll talk about my strategies for dealing with that soon. Um, so anyways, all that to say, I don't even know if the extra soldier is going to be available. Right? Hypnography is actually another decent one to take because it's going to reduce enemy will, which means I could take a, a, a mind controller. Uh, that actually is a great option too, but I can't take both because I've been kind of slacking on my intel. So I can literally take one of these. Um, extra soldier seems like the best option. That's probably the one I would go for. But if these aren't the same and the enemies aren't the same, when I load from uh, last mission, then so be it, right? I should also try to at least get this um, broken tusk finished. Maybe side grenades. And go from there. But uh, let's see if we can hit those right here. And if we can, cool. If not, I'll have to redo it all anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. So there's another chain for removing a dark event, but that's not going to happen. Supplies, no. I think you will find our. I want to see what that is. Commander, the lab is currently idle. We're Frostcaster sniper rifle. By not conducting any research, please consider providing us with a directive as soon as possible. Huh. The Frostcaster Sniper Rifle has the same damage output and added 15 aim as a Tier 3 Beam Caster. It also grants the Banish and Frostbite Shot ability. Frostcaster Sniper Rifle. 
day. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Fifty supplies. Let's look at this, shall we? Okay, clip size is 3, 11 to 13 versus 9 to 11. Okay, now this, we can have a much higher clip size, which is fantastic. And we can put on whatever attachments we want. It also um, pierces armor shre and shreds armor. But this... Has a 20% stun chance. Frostbite shot. Shoot an enemy dealing frostbite damage and freezing them in place. Hollow targeting. Much higher damage output. Much more crit. Does one armor pierce but doesn't shred. Holy smokes. Very interesting. Oh, that could be really cool. Just a straight up 20% stun chance is really nice. And the hollow targeting. Like, I think... I think we take... I think we do this one, right? So, the ways in which I could see this maybe backfiring is when we are focusing on something like death from above. We, you know, having only three shots is a little bit more dicey. I am probably bringing uh, Pool Mother to help with certain reloads and stuff. Uh, but that said, yeah, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Yeah, okay, so let me know what you guys think. Also, let me know what you guys think about who we should take on the uh, Network Tower mission. Since I'm going to have to load the save from the end of the last mission... I will be able to show you the kind of pre-work setup for uh, the Network Tower. And I'll probably do a save at the end of Network Tower as well, so that I can show you the pre-mission setup um, and introduce soldiers kind of one by one for Leviathan. I think I'll maybe try and do it that way so that it's uh, cooler. But anyways, let me know what you guys think, and I'm going to take all of your thoughts into consideration and then do the exact opposite. Just kidding. Just kidding. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, okay? We'll see you soon. Two more missions left. Win or lose. Because it's a very, very real possibility that we lose. Bye now.